What up, peeps? I am back outside going for another walk. Today is a lovely day. It's finally almost 80 degrees, which it hasn't been like that in a really long time. It's been freezing in Philly, so I'm super excited about this warm weather. Although next week it's gonna be raining a lot, so I'm trying to take advantage of this rest of this weekend. I've been going for these really long walks almost every day, and I've been trying to go farther and farther. Yesterday, I found this really cool path that I didn't know was there, and it was right by those steps that I had found last time I ended up going around the corner and there was more cool stuff I was like maybe I'll show you guys and I'll vlog it I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it there today though because it's pretty far and my legs are killing me already I've been noticing that the warmer it gets, the less people are following the social distancing guidelines. I just see tons and tons of people everywhere. I've been walking in groups and clusters with their friends. Obviously, they're kind of spread out from each other when they choose a spot to sit, but within their group, most of them are not wearing masks. I don't know. I don't even know what I think about this anymore. At some point, life has to go back to normal. What are the restrictions in your town right now? Because I feel like there's so much confusion around the world and in every city, town, state. People like don't really even know. Every time I talk to people that live here, they're just like, I can't keep up with it anymore. And I feel the same. Like, it's kind of confusing <laughs> what the exact dates are and when things are gonna open up. But as far as I know, Philadelphia is still in the first phase. June 5th, they're gonna ease more and more things to open. I'm curious, wherever you live, right where you live, and then tell me like what the rules are right now. And what do you think about it? Do you feel okay about whatever's happening? Or do you want it to last longer? Do you want it to be over? I'm just like, whatever happens, happens. It's not that big a deal to me either way. Coming up on the beautiful painting again. One of the areas of the path that looks like a painting. I love this spot, so pretty. Oh, and be careful what you believe on the news. If you pay close attention, you'll notice that a lot of it is not factual information. It's very opinionated. So I can't even really watch it. I don't have time for that. It's very gossipy and I feel like it's kind of unprofessional. It's supposed to be the news, not talk crap about everything. I love wishies. I'm an hour and a half out. It's almost dark. I want to head back. I'm literally right here at the spot that I wanted to show you guys. I want to make it home before it's dark, but I can't leave you guys hanging, so here it is. There's also way more traffic lately. Ugh, shit, I'm stuck in the middle. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, remember the stairway. Well, it does lead to somewhere really cool. I wasn't going to ever walk that way, but I decided like, hey, you never know, there might be something there. And there was something there, and it's really cool. So I'll show you. <laughs> Just gotta make it up. <sighs> so out of breath. I keep getting like these lines on my face from the mask. I swear, if I get a tan line, like a mask tan line, I'm gonna be so pissed. Anyway, I was wondering, what is it that you guys are most looking forward to opening back up? A place that's non-essential. Non I really wanna buy a new pair of sneakers so bad, and I don't like buying that kind of stuff online because I like to try it on and make sure it fits. I've been wearing like different shoes each day, and I don't think any of them are very suitable for these long walks that I've been going on. I somehow cut my foot and it's like really hurting me right now. <laughs> One more place that I really want to open up. I need a massage so bad. Sorry, I'm out of breath because my muscles are really, really sore from like all this extra walking and running I've been doing. I'm gonna treat myself to a long hour, two hour massage. This is the way that I didn't go last time. There's this bridge here and it has a walking path. It has some really amazing views along the way. What I found out afterwards was on the other side, there's a whole trail that leads into the woods and I went into that trail the other day. I'm not gonna do that today because then I'll definitely get stuck in the dark, but here we are. This is beautiful. Let me show you through the fence. Look how pretty this is. That's the stairs that I walked up and led all the way around. Boom, to here. Oh, that's the busy street I've had to run across. This is so peaceful. I'm so serious, guys. If you don't explore ever, you should try it. I keep finding so many dope spots. It's just like calming and peaceful to keep going out and finding stuff. There's also people that are boating too. I'm so jealous, that would be fun. I made it to the other side of the bridge. This is one path, but that's not even the trail. Like the trails go deep, deep into the woods over there. Maybe next time, if you guys want to see that, let me know, I'll show you. Oh shit, I'm coming. Ah! That's weird, never see anybody in there. Gonna run a little bit so I don't get stuck out here too late. I 
made it, made it. And you know what? I feel like you guys indirectly pushed me because I ran the whole way home, which was probably about five miles. And I haven't ran five miles consistently in a long time. So thank you for pushing me. Oh man, and my feet are killing me. See, I was saying I keep switching up my shoes to see which ones are gonna be most comfortable. And I don't think I have any good comfortable ones for running anymore. They're all like worn out a lot. You smell the outsideness on me? Look at her little nostrils. Hi. I'm so hungry. It's time for dinner. I'm making just a basic pasta. Also making fried eggplant. I didn't film the whole process because you're supposed to have one hand you use for the dry dipping and then another hand for the wet dipping, but I'm on the last piece. Got my three stations set up. Flour, the egg, and the breadcrumbs. That's ready. The sauce is done. It's done. Oh, it smells so good. I hope this gives me energy for tomorrow. I feel so beat right now. My mom actually used to make me pasta oftentimes before I would have the gymnastics meet, like the night before, to give me energy, and it always worked. I'm hoping I get some energy out of this. Fresh oregano on top. I'm done. And I had company. <laughs> they just watch me eat. <laughs> like... There's not any food on my arm. Do your pets bother you when you eat? These two short doors, especially Nyla. Oh my God, Nyla bullied bamboo out of the cat tree. I'm about to import some footage, go take a shower, and then come back and edit a little bit. And I wanna know, what do you guys wanna see in the next video? Are you guys liking these kind of vlogs? It's kind of chill at home type vlogs lately because there's not a lot to do outside. So let me know if you like this stuff and I will continue it. Well, I'm gonna end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. It does help. And here is the merch feature. Thank you, Kristen. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys.